And about face for Hyundai or Kia, the EPA says the car makers overstated gas mileage on close to a million vehicles sold in the past three years. The automakers are calling it a procedural error and say that they will pay the owners for the difference in gas mileage. NBC 4's Anna Garcia is in our newsroom now. She has more on what this means for Hyundai and Kia owners. Anna. Kathy, I don't know if you realize, but the government does not test and set the mileage. The car makers do it themselves. So could this admission from Hyundai and Kia that they made errors be just the beginning of pulling back the curtain on fuel economy claims? South Korean automakers Hyundai and Kia admit they overstated the fuel economy on nearly one million cars. An audit by the EPA found the car's real mileage lagged by one to six miles per gallon depending on the model. Jamie Court of the advocacy group Consumer Watchdog says they complained to the EPA in January and then filed a lawsuit specifically against Hyundai, alleging the Elantra was not getting 40 miles to the gallon as advertised. Court says via Skype the EPA's actions today validates their complaint. All I know is that the audits prove that the, the sticker claims are inaccurate, and that's really important. While Hyundai insists the lawsuit from Consumer Watchdog alleging mileage fraud has no merit, the Korean carmaker did apologize today to the EPA and consumers. Hyundai and Kia say the mileage issue is a procedural error and has offered to, quote, make it right for consumers by issuing debit cards to reimburse them for the extra gas they had to pay for. The amount handed out will depend on the cost of gas in your area. Consumer Watchdog says the estimated $88 won't be enough for California drivers. No, $88 is chump change, and drivers are, should be owed a lot more, particularly in California. Okay, so what should you do if you have a Hyundai or a Kia? You must register on their websites. You're not done yet. Then you've got to take your car to the dealer because they've got to read the odometer, and then they will send you a debit card. Reporting from the newsroom, Anna Garcia, NBC4 News.